Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Salamax Beyond Time. This is the 360 um, version, so yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so bear with me, uh, my, my game, I'll just say my Xbox needs to look for the saves on thingy. Um, Alright, so this is episode, there's six, no, hold on, there's five episodes, Um, yeah, this is episode one, the eye station of Santa, play, Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me! Congratulate the peacemaker! You crack me up with a brief salad and a blender, Mr. Spatula. He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster, Mr. Spatula has become pure evil. Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. You are my idol! I didn't. Flint paper! Hey, you fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? My secret side burns of Isaac Asimov! I may have tried 9,000! Destroy Sovereign Max! Destroy Sovereign Max! That's who named Tron! That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass! It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. We didn't see you at all last year, Flint. What gives? I had one hell of a crazy case, fellas. Foiling a conspiracy in the movie biz, matching wits with a reanimated Grover Cleveland, breaking up a sentient cell phone network, and a showdown with a cult leader on Saturn Sergeant Moon! Wow! How come we never get to do cool stuff like that? apart the entire building. A 
souvenir from when Max eliminated Hugh Bliss. Keep up the good work, Leonard. Our broken reality 2.0 goggles. Destruction, sir? Yes. I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Mm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college! It's trouble, all right. Stop it, Black Giant Robot. You stop doing this, please. If you start me up, if you start me up, I'll never stop. Huh? I exist to destroy. I am carrying out my sole purpose of existence. So philosophically, the question is not would I stop, but can I stop? And the answer? No. Which raises the question? Would I stop beating his rusty metal ass, or could I stop? You're under arrest. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Put down the building and come peacefully, and only one of us needs to get hurt. I answer to no authority but that of my mechanized will. I've got to go where I want to go, do what I want to do. I have a question. You seem like a smart guy. For a robot. Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I have no choice. The dictates of existential philosophy are clear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it, whip it good. Kierkegaard? Close. Devo. Do you have free will? Do you have free will? There is no such thing as free will. We do only what we are predetermined to do. Hey, robot! Would you be available as a witness for my next war crimes trial? I should have free time after I destroy you both. Great! Does might make right? Does might make right? It might. He's right. What all is an illusion? What if everything is an illusion and nothing exists? That theory was refuted by the ancient Australian philosopher Newton John, who said, let's get physical, physical, I want to get physical. It's all so complicated. Is 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 Bill all, all powerful? Could God create a kidney stone so large that even he couldn't pass it? Of course, an omnipotent God can, by definition, create anything he can conceive of. My question, can anyone set up a joke so obvious that even you would not take it? Does not compute. Why do fools fool? Why do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay, and lovers await the break of day? Sam? I have a question. 
question, Sam. How do you like the now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle-cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup-covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god. Santa Claus. judge, jury, and executioner, don't I get to do anything? What the hell are they doing here? I don't know. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Summer Max, uh, what was it, being a hand time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one.